Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm your girl Katrina and tonight I have another special unboxing. This one is coming in hot from Pro World, the same place where I got my brand new or my latest heat press, the one that I love so much. So I have a cat press to match. This is the TransPro Plus cat press. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox it. So stay tuned. If you're looking for a great new budget cat press, you might want to check this one out. This one is going to be a good one. Let's go. stole my blade because literally every single time I use it one time I can't find it this is like the third blade I done bought so I'm using a scissor to get into it I could not find my box cover okay I have the packing sheet this is gonna be some accessories that's gonna go with the cat press so I'll open that one next I'm just going to go ahead and take this right out of the box. Shouldn't be too heavy. I'm going to do it this way. I've learned my lesson. I have learned my lesson at the opening a few boxes. So we're going to do it the easy way tonight. Slide that bad boy right on out. It's the same color as my heat press. So if you have not seen my heat press that I use and love so much, my 16 by 20 auto open, then you might want to check out that one. Alrighty, we're not working harder. We're working smarter now with these unboxings. And now I'm just going to sit it back up. I'm going to take this foam off, pull that foam out. Alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty, I know y'all want to see, let's take the plastic off, I'm just going to cut it, I'm going to cut it, <laughs> now I'm about to change the color of my craft room, a lot of my stuff, I have a new craft room makeover coming soon, or a revamp, and I'm like, I got all these different color presses. I like stuff to match. So I'm not going to tell y'all what color I'm adding to my craft room until that video comes up. Power cord. All right, so I'm going to lift this up. Remove that plastic. This is nice and small and compact. So if you've been rocking with me since day one, Way back in the day, you know I only had one cat press on my channel that I used to use. It was a manual press. It didn't have like a lever. It was a cap and mug press and a plate press all in one. I do not advise. I don't advise getting like those multi presses because you lose out on certain features when you have that. My cat press was horrible. You couldn't like adjust the pressure, any of that. So this is my first time using this. As you can see, I just unboxed it. So I'm going to walk you through the complete setup, tell you all the functions, everything. And I'm going to open up these accessories and we're going to press some hats and see how well this baby can press some hats. Okay? So this one is a manual cat press, but I like the fact right away that it has a lever, it has a lever. So I'm going to go ahead, set it up, put it to the side. But let me open this first and let's see what this is. I think I know what it is because this has a special feature that my other cat press did not have. Okay, got the Pro World sticker and everything right there. Oh, we got some fishies. We got some hats to press. And I have some platins. Guess what that's for, guys? Look at that. I have two extra platins. So this 
can change out the platens. How about that? Great feature. Okay. That's a great feature, bonus feature, because if you didn't know, I love heat presses and stuff that you can change the platens on. So not all hats are the exact same size. So it makes sense that you would have a cat press that has different platen sizes as well. So if you do want different size platens, you do have to buy them separately. They come in four different sizes, okay? Four additional sizes that you can buy. I'm just unwrapping them. This is so cool. So I'll show you how you change it out. And we're gonna press some hats tonight. I'm really excited. So I'm gonna go ahead, plug it up, give you a full walk around, and let's get started. Power cord, power button is in the rear. So I'm just gonna plug that in, just like so. And now I'm just gonna flip that on. The LCD screen digital display is right in the rear. So it's literally right positioned behind the actual cap press. This is what it looks like. This is what you'll hook your hat on. And it has a little lever right here on the side. If you want to change out the platens, all you have to do is just lift it out and then put the next one in. Just like so. How easy and simple is that? All right, so let's go ahead and set the heat press up so that way we can go ahead and get it warmed up, ready to press some hats. This is the next bigger one. So you would screw it in in the front. There are two holes. The screw is going to go to the front, and then you would sit it in that, put it just like that, and put it in just in place. So this TransPro Plus cap press is a manual press. You will have to manually close it and you will have to manually open it when the time goes off. But it was designed specifically to mirror and mold to the curve of your particular hat. So because there's different style of hats, as you see I have all these different hats here. So because there's different shapes, different curves, that's why there's different platen sizes. So you want to make sure you have the right platen size for the right style of hats that you're choosing. And on the website, they do have the different sizes. Right now, I'm not sure which size each platen is, but there are different sizes and it is on the website. So I'm just going to go on feel to see which one. And then you can use pressing pillows as well. I'm going to press some hats. I have some super color hat transfers, guys. And again, you can get super color transfers from Pro World as well. They were so kind enough to make me some transfers with my son's logo. How cool is that? Then I have some nice melanin transfers. Oh, yeah, we're going to be pressing some nice transfers tonight. I gave them my design. So you can send in your designs. As well, I have um, some nice melanin ones. I'll show you guys up close, of course, because we're going to press them on the hat. And I have another one. So I'm excited. Hopefully, they come out really good. So this is going to be my first time using the Super Color Transfers on hats, guys. On hats. These transfers, it says you can press um, anywhere from 285 degrees Fahrenheit to 300 degrees. And we're going to press from 10 to 15 seconds with 40 PSI. All right, so let's go ahead and set this so that way we can press the hats. I'm gonna peel back the little plastic. All right, so you hit the set button, the lights light up over here, illuminate on the left, and there's some up and down arrows. So I'm gonna put it on 300 degrees since it says you can press anywhere from 285 to 300. So I'm just gonna put it on three. Uh, let's put it on 295. Hit the set button and now I'm going to do my time and I'm going to do it to 15 seconds. I'm going to hit the set button again and we're going to let that warm up. So while my temperature is dropping, I'm going to go ahead and find the perfect hat and the perfect platen size. I'm going to just remove this out and I'm going to see which size platen I'm going to use. So as you see, that one is way too big. I'm going to take that one out and I'm going to try the medium size one. That one should do it. 
Let's put this in here. And even that is still a little bit big. So let's see the smaller size one. I'm gonna drop that one down in like so. And let's see, that one is about the best size for that one. Now they have actual pressing pillows, but I'm gonna see how this pressing pillow works under here just to see that might do good. You want to put it under that lever. So this lever right here is for you to pull this up. I'm going to put my hat on in here and now I'm going to pull that down. That locks your hat, keeps um, your hat in place while you're pressing. Okay. My other cat press did not have this. So my hats were moving all over the place. It was never stable. So you just want to make sure it's all the way on nice and secure. That pressing pillow really made a big difference. And now my hat is stable and not moving, not going anywhere. Really like that feature. Okay. This is the other side view of the hat. I want you guys to see that. I'm going to take my two hype super color transfer and I'm going to place that right on top. I'm going to line that up. That should be good just like that. Also, I want to let you guys know you adjust the pressure. There's a knob underneath. So let's see if you guys can see that. That's the knob right there. That's how you adjust your pressure. Okay, so I'm going to test it and then we're going to see how much pressure it is. It says 40 PSI, but again, I'm not sure. So I'm just going to test this and see how much pressure it is. And then we're going to go from there. But the knob right under here, that's how you adjust the pressure. You just place your transfer exactly where you want it, line it up. I'm just going to center that. Hopefully it does not move. We should be good to go. I have no idea of knowing how much pressure. You don't need a carrier sheet on here. I'm just going to press it down. And I know that's not enough pressure. I know that's not. So we're going to adjust that really quick. Really quick. I'm assuming righty tighty lefty loosey. Okay, let's check it out and see. <whistles> Lift it up, hot peel, and there we go. First time I did not have enough pressure. I'm gonna release this lever on the side. Take that out. Look at that really nice really smooth uh oh uh oh I got me a hat press y'all not that many press lines I like that let's do another one we gotta keep rocking and rolling we can't just do one I really like that and that is so smooth that's in there let you guys see that all the way around oh yeah baby let's do another one Okay, so I have this hat. Let's see first if it fits this one. And I think I'm gonna stick with that size flatten. Okay. Let's see if I don't need the pressing pillow. I don't even think I need the pressing pillow on this one. All right. Well, look at this transfer, guys. Really like that one. I'm gonna press that one, but I actually need to adjust the hat because those holes so yeah, I need to bring it up. I want it more. And now I might need the pressing pillow. Because when you're pressing more here in the front. Yep. There we go. Perfect. So you guys can see how that looks. So the pressing pillow allows me to get this part nice and flat. Without that pressing pillow underneath it, you know, because of the curve, it was a lot of little space in between. All right, so I'm gonna press this one. I really like this transfer. I'm gonna put that one right there. That should be centered. Same time and temperature, anywhere between 285 to 300, 10 to 15 seconds. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put that down. I have it on 295. There we go, 15 seconds. 
release that hot peel right away look at that look at my little safari hat y'all look at my little safari hat i like that gotta curve that bill really nice really nice and smooth y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments below let's do one more let's do one more why not i put it on this one i love like tan and khaki hats and i oh i like this hat it has like the brass brass buckle in the rear okay can't wait to take this out. Look at that lever. I really like that one. Yes. Come on, hat. That looks so good. I'm really loving this cat press. Let's do another one. All right, so I'm gonna again take the pressing pillow, take the hat, put it on there. That looks good, lock it down. That is like snug like a bug. And I'm going to do another two hype, of course. Okay, and I'm gonna close that down on the hat. When you hear the beep, just release it. Hot peel right away, right away. That's the key. And I'm gonna give it just a little final press. I'm gonna give it just a final press. So I'm gonna add a little Teflon sheet on top and just press it for like five minutes or so. Five minutes, for five seconds or so. Okay, just like that. And lift the lever, voila. All right, so because I did the final extra press, because I saw just a little piece lifting up, there you go, there you have it. It's nice and hot. So you can tell I pressed it, the press lines, but I'm sure that will fade away over time. Uh, let me know what you guys think. So these are how all the hats turned out. They came out so great. So great. Nothing is lifting up. They came out so smooth. I had no issues with these transfers. And these are my first time using the Supercolor headwear transfers. So I want you guys to see that they came out so great. Okay, I really like this cap press. So how easy was that? You saw it yourself that I didn't mess up not the first hat, not the first transfer. So you can get this heat press on the website. Link is down below in the description box. It's only $349.99. It's a great starter budget cap press. If you're looking to press hats, if you're looking for a new cap press, the only thing I don't like about it is the fact that it's manual. So I like auto stuff. I'm not a manual girl. I want things easy for me. So I like it at this price point if you're just starting out, if you're looking, you know, for your first cap press. It does have the locking feature, it has an interchangeable feature, so all of that is great. But if you want something a little bit more jazzy, they do have a auto cap press as well. That one is red and black, really nice. That one is around $500, I believe. I don't know the exact price, but the link is down below. This one is $349.99. You can't beat that price. But guess what? Each additional cap press is only $39. So same cap presses for both of the heat presses. But guys, $39, that's a steal. They range in sizes from the baby size platen, if you're doing kids and baby hats, all the way up to oversized platen. It comes standard with the three and a half by six and a half platen. So that's your standard size, and that's the size that it comes with, and you can purchase any of the additional sizes that you want. But guys, I like this cap press. I haven't had one in a while, and for my first time using it, 
piece of cake love it simple no transfer messed up so you can actually order your super color transfers on their website as well they can do it for you um, and you can order as many transfers as you want listen I'm about to be pressing some hats. Now, yeah, I know I love my embroidery machine, but not everyone has an embroidery machine. Not everyone wants to always outsource and get things done. So you can buy your caps yourself at a low cost, get you a cap press, and go into the cap pressing business. So if you're in the market for a brand new cap press, check out the link down below in the description box, and you can see my affiliate link for Pro World, and you can check out the manual one or the auto one. So I hope this video helped you guys out if you're making the decision on if you want to incorporate caps into your business, if you're deciding on which cap press to buy, and if you're deciding on how to do your designs. So if you're looking for an easy, quick way to do full color designs on hats, you might want to consider super color transfers. All right, so I've never used the super color transfers on a hat. This is my very first time and okay so listen they peel so easy 15 seconds 285 degrees i did not have any mishap no mistakes y'all know i'm like the queen of mistakes right but these were so easy and so simple to use and you can just store them for however long and whenever you get a hat order you just pull them out and you press them how easy is that guys full color designs on your hats Pro World is like a one-stop shop where they have everything you need to get everything done for your business. So definitely take a look at their super color transfers because, listen, these came out so good. So good, guys. So I'm going to be adding this to my business. If it makes sense, it can make some money, okay? So I hope this video helped you guys out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know if you have any further questions, and I'll be sure to answer them. Big shout out to Pro World. Thank you so much. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Until next time, bye.